Greetings, Pokey fans! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of my Pokemon Ultra Sun. Let's play walk through my very first journey through these brand new Pokemon games that I did receive free from Nintendo. If you have been enjoying the series, don't forget to leave a like, make sure you answer the comment question, and if you missed the last episode, make sure you check that out. We caught Solgaleo and got a Cosmog, and it was awesome. Um, this episode is going to be the first of several where we are chasing down, finishing up the Alola Pokedex by catching the Tapus and Zygarde. Um, and that is all I have left for the Alola Pokedex, so you guys are going to get to see me get the Shiny Charm on camera. So, first we're going up to Tapu Koko. It is nighttime in my game, even though it's during the day. I am not in the reverse world. I, um... I intentionally changed the time on my 3DS 3DS, because I had to do that to go to the reverse world to get Cosmog, but also this makes Dusk Balls more helpful. Is there anything over here? Oh, an item! Cool. Alright, nothing over there. The Ruins of Conflict. Oh, no Machan things. Oh, this looks so cool. All these trees and stuff. It looks so cool. Alright. I have the level 100 Decidueye in front, and we're just gonna false swipe this thing and hope for the best. Because <laughs> I can't paralyze it, because it's an electric type. And electric terrain makes it so you can't put anything to sleep. Let's do this! Sub bro! Electric Surge. The Tapu battle music gets so uncomfortable. <laughs> Should I put up a sub? Ninja's Madness has my HP. That probably would have broken a sub still. Oh! Way to go, Chinese Decidueye. Alright, let's blast this thing with Pokeballs. I guess... Oh, I thought I had more Dusk Balls than that. Well, let's use those first, because I do have a bunch of timer balls. I know for sure I have a bunch of timer balls. Ah. I also do have Rotom Catch Powers, but I kind of want to, like, save that. Definitely for Tapu Fini, because I'm going to need it, because Tapu Fini freaking... Aqua Ring breaks out of everything, and it's horrible. Ah. Uh, I need a full restore on you in a little bit. Pretty solid chance I'm gonna have to use all my Dusk Balls. Yeah. Ooh, dodging those moves! Fantabulous! Just did you I? Remember catching Tapu Koko in uh, Ultra Sun or in regular Sun was a nightmare because it was like in the middle of that giantly long cutscene credits that thankfully they made you not have to do this. I mean, I didn't have to catch it because I could have gone and caught it later, but I wanted to get it over with. Jeez. What is it with this thing? Alright, we need to use a forest door. Okay, we need to use a max potion. <laughs> Affection is amazing! Okay, I think we're at the point where timer balls will work, so let me, I'm gonna throw those. I don't care if you are fast. Feel free to make yourself as fast as you want, dude. That does not matter to me.
There we go. I have a lot of timer balls. Come on, buddy, get in the ball. Very annoyingly low catch rates with the tapus. Legendaries are such a pain. I do have this Decidueye though. This would be a lot tougher if I didn't have Decidueye here. <laughs> oh, it doesn't actually know Dazzling Gleam, I just realized. It knows Electro Ball, Discharge, Nature's Madness, and uh, Agility. Come on, bucko. Can you believe this? This is absurd. You have one HP, dude. Yes! All right, we caught Tapu Koko. That was annoying, but we did it. So, go us. <laughs> we'll be added to the Peckerhose decks. The first of the four guardians. Captured. 100% on the melee melee decks. Though it's called a guardian deity, if a person or Pokemon puts it in a bad mood, it will become a malevolent deity and attack. Ugh. No. Send to a box. Alright guys, we caught Tapu Koko. And got the Tapu Neum Z. Hooray! So, let's get out of here and buy some more Pokeballs. I thought I had a lot more Dusk Balls than I did. Um... But then, I think the next one we'll go for is Tapu Lele. I think we'll go through the progression of the islands. And thankfully, I can't fly to all of them. But we need to fly to Akala. Because you sell timer balls, and I want more of those. And then, the one at the north sells, um... Sells... Dusk Balls. Which I definitely need more of. Definitely need more Dusk Balls. This is situated so handy though. <laughs> Tanks hit so well. <laughs> Definitely was a good call bringing it over. Bye. How many netballs? I got plenty of netballs. Those will help with Tapu Finny, but not any of the other ones. Oh, I just realized I have a bunch of items I can sell. Like a comet shard. And sell that. Yep. And then I think I have like stardust and star pieces that I like found inside rocks and stuff. Yep. Alright, that's good enough for now. Alright, let me go buy some, uh... Let me go purchase! Some more dusk balls. These are the two best uh, Pokemon centers in the entire game, because one has the timer balls, repeat balls, and net balls, which are great. Um, and then the other one has uh, quick balls, which are my favorite Pokeball. Dusk balls and dive balls, not as useful, but I want, like, I want 30 of each. So much money. All right, guys, I think that's enough doing this stuff. I'm going to call it an episode for this. I'm going to do one video for each Tapu. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like. Make sure you answer the comment question. And that is all I have for now. So until next time, book of hands. Gotta catch them all.